<sighs> Been a while again. Um, long story short, um, my work has gone into later hours uh, because of Christmas, and um, I got promoted. So I'm actually doing more hours than I was. Uh, it might just be a temporary thing for Christmas. It might be ongoing. Who knows? But slightly more money. Speaking of money, uh, before we get into this review, um, I got a refund uh, on some money I'd already paid out. And um, yeah, I I've bought some things. Uh, no spoilers. Uh, I've bought some things. I've pre-ordered some things. Um, uh, might surprise you, might not, but, you know, fine. In fact, I was going to bring something I got yesterday down and sort of, like, show, like, one of the feet and be like, ooh, what's this, what's this? But I, I forgot to bring it down here. Oh, well. Maybe I'll just review it tomorrow. Because I'm not doing anything this weekend, as far as I know. So I'll try and get some reviews done. Because I kind of owe you all some reviews. But that's not the point. Let's go on to the subject at hand. And from my Certoys review, uh, sorry, my Certoys box that I recently got, let's bring out Studio Series Optus Prime. Nah, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Next time. No, let's bring out X Bodies Moody. M double O D I E. Moody. Now, due to the fact I've just said that out loud, and it's got M double O, which would be Moo, and it's got horns, I'm forced to believe this is some sort of bull. I I'm I could be completely wrong there, and I'm gonna try not to knock things over while I move both my arms. But the it kind of implies bull. But then it's got kind of like a dog's nose, like bottom lip. So I don't know what this is. Uh, in the Sersoy's box, um, they also very nicely threw in the second version of this, the sort of um, later upgraded Season 2 version. And that looks nothing like a bull. It doesn't have the horns. So... Your guess is as good as mine. If anyone... Like, is this a cartoon? I, I haven't seen it, but if this is a cartoon, someone let me know. Um... Uh, but this is a nice enough little thing. It's um, it's not exactly difficult, but I thought I'd break myself in easy. And frankly, I love these little guys who aren't that little. But you know what? Let's just do a size comparison just to prove the point. It's, they're not that little. Um, there's no point in having a vehicle mode comparison. Sorry, size wipe. Here's Age of Extinction Bulby. Here's Tailgate. Here's Siege side swipe. Because I can. Here's the oversized uh, Voyager -y masterpiece scale where it is. They're, they're probably Voyager scale. They're, they're quite chunky. And this is the um, animal mode? Um, I'm struggling with this one. I don't, I don't know what really to call this one. I mean, like the other ones I've got have got clear modes. And again, size comparison. <coughs> Here is, I believe, um, uh, Aqua, is it? The turtle from the same line, same series, the first ones. The second ones look a little bit funky. Um, I quite like this one. So, you know, interesting. And transformations, it's not complex. That's a very stressed use of the word complex. It's not complex. No, they're not difficult they're not you know awkward or there's just you got to remember to do things because there are a couple of things that don't make a huge difference to it i'll show one uh as we go along if i remember to do so that i didn't even notice i was just messing with it went oh yeah you can do that it doesn't really you don't even notice it's really weird but what we need to do is to transform this into its robot mode and I'll just give you a quick back shot as well. Not that it matters. Um, do you want articulation while we're here? The arms will go in and out and probably do a 360, but I don't care so much about that. Legs will go forward and back about that far. In and out. Uh, feet swivel and 
at least go forward and back. I I feel like the side to side, but it doesn't want to do it. I, I don't know. So that's it. Oh, and uh, I think the hand swivel. There you go. The hand swivel as well. That's nice. If that's your if that's your bag, you know. But yeah, it's fine. It it, it does all the articulation uh, all the articulation you need. Oh, you can tell I haven't done this for a while. I cannot talk. So let's transform it. Step one: extend the legs. Do they click into place? Don't think so. So extend the legs. They they aren't collapsing, but they don't like loudly click into place. Yay! Legs extended. While we're at it, might as well extend the arms. Because, <laughs> you know. Like I say, for the transformation, you just push that up. And then for the transformation to Roma, you just slide it down. It's not. It's, you know. I mean, alright, this does give him elbow, which is kind of more needed for the robot mode, but in, you know. It's not even that big a thing. It's It's weird. The ways they've just gone for the differentiations are weird. But there you go, so we've got longer legs, longer arms. Great. Now what we're going to do is kind of funny. We're going to grab his nose and his whole sort of front nose mouth area and rip it off. There are these two tabs that go into little gaps there. See that gap under there and there? And these little grey pieces that go into these little clips here. Okay? And we'll put that like that. We'll come back to that in a minute. And this is the bit I was talking about. This is, again, something I didn't even notice until I was just messing around. See this? You just get it and extend it. It literally gets about... I don't know. Four, maybe five centimetres extra height. It doesn't matter. You don't need to... It doesn't even matter at all. But it's there. And it's weird. But it, it, it works. And... Yeah, I, I don't think we can do the next bit now. So we're going to bring this piece up. There are... Where am I? As, yeah. There are little groove bits there on the side. Can you see those? Those just grip into the edge here. Then we need to bring this off. It's on... Where am I? Hinge piece here with a ball joint. And yes, this ball joint's quite loose. And yes, it does sometimes like to pop off. But I was leaving it for the review because I can just pop that off, tighten it with some super glue or something, wait for it to dry, pop it back on. There will not be an issue. I'm not sure it's looking a bit open. I have to tighten that. Fine. Now what we need is these two grey black pegs sticking out here. They need to go into, let me just bring this up out of the way, these two little holes there. So I'm going to turn this around. And yeah, it wants to pop off the ball joint. It's fine. It'll go straight back on. And just line those up and put it into place. So that's now on the back. Okay, fine. And just in case you thought this was done, not quite. Because what we need to do now is get this piece, again, nose at the front, lift it up, split it in half. Because it just using this uh, grey piece and stuff inside, they clip together. And inside here, there are these tiny little notches on each side. And there are these little holes. So again, Basically, you've just got the nose, turn it up, and just slide it on. Bigger shoulder pad. And this side, bigger shoulder pad. And there he is in robot mode. And again, the extending legs give him knees. Not much of knees, but they are knees. And yeah. I don't, you know... Because it's gone from vaguely sort of yellow animal with a cutesy face and horns and stumpy arms. And yeah, and limbs. Into a more stretched out, more normal human proportion thing with big chunky shoulder pads. A more cool robot head, cool robot head, chest, to be honest with you. But still has horns and is still kind of cutesy. It's weird. I love it. Don't get me wrong, I do. And I, I, I intend to get all the, these moody guys. Because they're just they're just fun, frankly. Uh, and you turn, you still can't see the eyes. 
again, I need to fix this ball joint, but that's not, you know. Ideally, I could do a floor polish and a couple of things, just, you know, stop them wriggling as much. But it's not really a problem. And he's just fun, basically. I mean, the arms will still go to the 360, whether or not the shoulder pads will catch a bit. They, they might, but it's not a big deal. Legs, knee, still got the toe. Um, no waist, but don't really care. Head turns. And should we have a quick look at this head? You know what he's kind of looking like? Uh, what he's kind of looking like now, if I could talk properly. Kind of reminds me of, uh, is it Hearts of Steel Bumblebee? Kind of what he's reminding me of at the minute. If my camera can focus. I've not been looking at the camera this whole time, so apologies. Um, but yeah, he's, he's just kind of fun frankly. And I think that's the main thing about these moody guys. So again, we'll do size compression. So here's the big side swipe. Here's Age of Extinction Bulby. The normal side swipe. Tailgate. Um, Aqua, or whatever his name is, in robot mode. Uh, sorry, uh, beast mode. And Emerald, I'm going to bring in for the robot mode of the X buddies and Emerald's quite a tall one and he's slightly taller than Moody but again Moody's stocky uh, too. I'll transform this one quickly I won't do the shield bit but I'll transform him quickly um, cause these guys are just fun they're big, they're chunky they're silly, they're fun and yes I fully intend to get them all certainly behave, don't just, don't just send them all to me because as much as I would love it and I would love it uh, it's, it's, no, don't do that. <laughs> You've got to make profit somewhere, all right? And to be fair, after I've done all the reviews on these guys, everyone else is going to buy them. Then I won't be, ab won't be able to buy them or be given them or anything else because there won't be any in stock. No. All right, I'll do the shield in a bit, stop in a bit. But again, <sighs> he's nice. He's very nice. Um, I don't know if I like him or the later version more. The later version, the transformation's quite interesting. But there's a lot more parts forming. In this guy, it's just the nose becoming the shoulder pads. I mean, this one, you got to swap the arms and legs around. Uh, him, you got to pop the legs off and put them on the back for the uh, frog mode, I think it is. Or is it a bird or something? I don't, I don't actually know. It might be a bird. I always thought it was a frog. Looks like a frog. But the, um, the uh, later one, there's a lot more parts forming. But whatever, it's fine. Just going to do this before I forget. Ah, now see, this ball joint's come off as well. Don't think I ever really got around to fixing that. Why did I never consider it an issue? That's also possible. There you go. But yeah, so um, unless something goes incredibly right for me, which I'm not going to go into... Uh, I probably won't be doing a rev uh, I won't be doing anything this weekend, so I should be alright to do reviews for you. Bear in mind, it's Halloween it was yesterday. This is Friday, uh, so all the proper Halloween parties will be this weekend. And in the United uh, the United Kingdom, this is the Bonfire Night weekend. Uh, bonfire Night, Guy Fawkes, anyone into that sort of thing? Basically, uh, big fires and fireworks. Uh, but again, I've got no friends and no life, so I probably won't be going anywhere. Anyway, I've rambled on for nearly 15 minutes about this cool little fella on his own. Let's get these out so you get a bit more one-on-one -on -one time with him. Come on, tailgate. I like my little tailgate. I don't know why, but I feel sorry for him. He's, he's a cute little fella. Come on, Elrod. Yeah, moody. He's very interesting, but again, I don't know what he's supposed to be. Someone let me know. But until then, I should be ugly, I should be wretched, I shall see all of you in the next one. Later!